Brian. This is Luca. Just um, checking up on you guys. See where the status and the move. Uh, please let me know. Remember, it's November 12th is the, is the deadline. Um, call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. November 2nd, 2010 at 11.24 a.m. Mother Turkey, he sounds like fucking... No. He sounds, he's got a nice voice. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay. Call and let me know what's going on. Call and let me know what's going on. Um, line? Um, call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. 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 Going on. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, I got, I got, I got a, a quick. Let me know because I gotta go home. Let me know. I need to take care of that. Okay. I don't want to hear anything else. I want to deal with this. I want to deal with this fact because it's too late. Okay. No, I, I understand. I understand. Listen, I just got a question for you. Now we're we're not we we haven't we're not prejudiced in any way uh, about uh, collecting our damages, right? Brian. Yes. Okay, well, they're not, but I mean, they're, it's the. It that's, that's not the issue. The issue is about this. We can discuss about that any other time. Right now, are you going to send me a copy of the key? Anyway, okay. I'm sending the confirmation anyway. Okay, well, okay, okay, but really quick, I just need to know this one thing. Now, we're, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not prejudiced against. Uh, about what? Because them if you want. What are you prejudiced about? Okay, we didn't give up our rights and stuff, because when I read the. Yeah, I get that part, but... Huh. What the fuck was that? What? That's, what, that's bizarre. That's our attorney? That's our attorney. And he yelled and screamed through a tantrum almost? Yeah, but he wouldn't... Uh, he didn't answer my question. He didn't answer my question. We can talk about that question. any other time. I wanted to know that, that we're not uh, prejudiced, you see, but the, the court said that we were prejudiced. Yeah. The actual court said, no, you're done, you're, you're prejudiced, you can never see them again. Yeah. And the girl said, yeah. Those people said, you that. can't sue them. This is your attorney, they... They, they said, oh no, you gave up your rights. You gave up all your rights to do that. He made you give up your rights. Right. And that was the whole reason why we, we did it. Now he's like... Oh yeah, of course he's screaming now. He yells and screaming at us. We yeah. were supposed there was supposed to be a court hearing this morning. <laughs> it said come back to court. Yeah. We were in court at eight o'clock, eight thirty. There was no court. They said the judgment had already happened. That there was a judgment against us. Yeah, there was already a judgment entered. The judgment is entered. It's done. It's done. They, they said that. Yeah, the clerk said, you guys are done. She says, well, you're done. The judgment's already been entered. It's just, you know, this is just when you're giving back the property. This is what you, you know. What would cause him to lose his... Why would he yell and scream at us like that? Our own attorney. <gasps> that we paid. And, and because, well, that's... Yeah. He, yeah. He's screwed. Because he's working for the other... Yeah, because he screwed he us. Screwed it. Um, Brian called me, uh, but he didn't leave a message. 
Uh, you guys are not telling me if you moved out. I hope you are aware that if I don't transmit the message to them today that you moved out, they're going to enter judgment against you. Mm -hmm. uh, even though you were supposed to win this case, it seems like uh, you guys are blowing it. So I don't know what uh, what's going on. Why can't you guys tell me whether or not you've moved out? That's all I need to know so I can send them a fax and say that. And I'm heading home. Uh, I called you guys twice uh, in the middle of the month, at the beginning of this month and last week to remind you, and now you're waiting till 5, 5 p.m. On, on the day that you're supposed to move out to call me. Um, somebody needs to call me back. is Friday, November 12th, 2010, at 5.19 p.m. Hello? I'm sorry, say again? Yeah. I'm sorry? With what? I'm, I'm sorry, hold on, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear you. Say, hold on. What are, you, what are you saying now? Hold on, let me shut the door. Okay, go ahead. Okay, listen, I don't have time to play games. So I'm game. Me neither. I need to do a job for you. Can I finish? We walked through it. We walked through it in, different, in a lot of different ways. I spent a lot of hours with you guys. Finally, when we came to court, I presented several options to you. You selected the option to settle it. No, not really. You, uh, you put the gears. The judge, the judge asked you if you wanted to. This is what you wanted. No, what we wanted was not represented. You didn't represent. You did not represent what, what that right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, I'm, hold on. This is. You're break. You're breaking up. Hold on. Hold on. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. I'll send you a, a quick note. I can't hear you. Uh, even though you were supposed to win this case, it seems like uh, you guys are blowing it. So, I don't know. I presented several options to you. You selected the option to settle it. No, not really. You uh, you put the gears. The judge, the judge asked you if you wanted to, if this is what you wanted. No, what we wanted was not represented. Brian. Yes. I'm going to enter a judgment against you. What about that? Don't you understand? Let's talk about it. Okay. So, so you wouldn't about? listen to the fact. He said, that's what you want, that's what you want. No, what we wanted was to be bought out of our lease. And we wanted to be reimbursed for all the money that we yeah. put out and that all the other stuff. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. Call and let me know what's going on. Call and let me know what's going on. Call and let me know what's going on. Uh, line. Uh, call and let me know what's going on. Okay, thank you. 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 This is the problem I've got going on. It's uh, um, it has to do with uh, some city officials. Um, I I live in the only city, well, only one of only three cities in the whole state that has its own health department. And about uh, Pasadena, yeah, they they're, 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 there's only two other cities in the whole state of California that have their own health department, and for good reason too, I guess. Um, so here's what happened. I leased this property out. I we fix it up and all that. We're getting ready for an art show. Uh, it's a large property. Uh, well, one fifth of an acre is, it, it sits on. Um, anyway, so we have this big sewage spill. Uh, we had a couple little floods before then. They were minor, but 
you know, we have this big sewage spill and it's pumping out of the walls and everything. And I'm calling the owners and, and trying to get them to come out. Nothing. I call the city and the city tells me it's between me and the owner. So I called the plumbers and I called everyone else and I'm told that, you know, it's, it's just everywhere. It's really nasty. And, I, and so I'm cleaning it up. I'm in an area with apartments and stuff around me. I get, this is a little house. but So I clean this stuff up myself. And uh, during the process of it, um, I'm, I find out that the whole entire underneath of the house is actually a makeshift uh, a sump, uh, you know, for uh, sewage. And it's a sump for sewage. It's a sewage, like a cesspool, just like it. And so what's happening is it's like raising the sewage water up through the walls <clears throat> and creating uh, Penicillium aspergillus, which is like the most deadliest form of uh, fungus, fungal mold there is. It's, there's, there's no cure for it, um, not from medicine. You've got to go homeopathic to cure it. But anyway, so I'm, I'm working with this, and I'm, I'm pulling it out. I used to have a cleaning business. I'm, I used to do mold remediation a long time ago, so I'm aware of what to do. And so I'm pulling this stuff out, and then there's this long French drain that was made out of the uh, electric service pipes that were put in there uh, like five years ago, six years ago. And... So the guy who did it, when they when they went and signed this thing off, they cut through two and a half feet plus of raw sewage that had been placed over the entire yard of this house. Entire yard, raw sewage everywhere. It's thick. Underneath that, I've got a layer of uh, compressed uh, oil-filled uh, um, like dirt um, over that, and that's the when you have that and a raw sewage supply going into old sewage with a compressed layer of clay. That's a classic uh, has, hazardous waste dump uh, cap that they put on it. So what I'm doing, I didn't know this yet, so I'm, I'm cleaning out this dirt that I'm thinking is just tainted with raw sewage into the back lawn, which is nice, and, and I'm cutting open the lawn and mixing this stuff in using EPA standard uh, materials, uh, natural um, uh, uh, minerals and what have you. So. I can't get anybody to help me at all. Uh, this is coming into July, and I'm getting all these threats, criminal threats from the, the landlords and stuff. They've seen this place already. They've seen it come in and seen it, nothing. So the I called the gas company out on an emergency call for gas emissions. Um, I thought it might have been a broken gas pipe. I don't know. My sense of smell is not that great. And uh, so we're waiting for him. The gas guy comes out, it's at night, and he goes through the whole entire property and he says, okay, it's not our gas, but you've got gas here, and this is dangerous, really dangerous. And he says, if this continues, uh, gets any worse, whatever, you got to call 911. You do. And, and so I was told that about 50 times already. I didn't do it. Uh, so I called 911 on the 23rd of July, 911, and uh, they dispatched a hazmat truck from around the corner for me. And they came out, and they saw that how I'd been trying to get in contact with the city and get them out, and they just got really upset. And so the captain of the team called uh, he called the city, had the health department and building and safety come out, a uh, code compliance.